Hey, welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry, and here for another review, I'm going to be talking about the Delike New Moon 3. Alright, there was the Moon 1, the Moon 2, now this is the Moon 3. So, here we go. And this uh, pen comes in this cardboard box. Shiny with the name Delight on the front. It's a colorful green with some blues in there. Nice looking box. So let's open, push it out. And here comes what we're looking for. The new Moon 3. Now, with this pen, when you order it, it comes with another nib. So... Let's get it out. This is the fun part. And we'll just set this aside. And it does sit securely, nothing underneath. So, no problems on the packaging. And let's just take this little jewel out. And we'll just set the Moon 3 right here. And this is what she looks like. The Moon 3. So get a good close-up on that. And they call this a bamboo green with a medium nib. So let's take a look at the band. Has delight on the front and that's it but it's really nicely engraved in the band a nice thick silver band and the clip very sturdy clip let's see how that's going to fly and it does go kind of okay I mean it will go all the way down because of the t-shirt I guess but it goes halfway down so you would have to kind of open it up because it's so tight now it works fine it just needed a little adjusting thing but it's secure and it works fine I'll do it again there all right so as you go up the uh, cap to the finio not a lot going on, but it's uh, the chrome finial matches your clip, which matches your nice, beautiful band. And down the barrel, it kind of narrows down, and you have the same finish at the end of the barrel. Chrome. So let's talk about some measurements real quick. They've listed this on their side as 124 millimeters. And the weight of the pen is 37 G's. And the material that they use is the metal lacquer. The grip is metal. And the, may, uh, the nib is medium. And an extra nib comes with the pen, like I said. This is Bobby's. Pen. So you can search on eBay, search for Bobby's Pen or Bobby Chinese Pen on Google. He's the gentleman that makes the pens. Now let's see about it posting. It does post securely. And it doesn't feel top heavy. Uh... It could be a little bit top-heavy, but not a lot. But then, I have small hands. The pen is, uh, for me, would be uh, uncomfortable to write for long writing sessions. But for quick notes, it would be all right. So you post it, and then you have a full-size pen, and then you shouldn't have any problems. 
So, the nib has the like on it, super quality, and some in, a little bit of scroll work on the nib. Let's unscrew the pin. And it's got really a decent uh, converter. Pull out. So what I'm going to do first is the nib. Very simple. Unscrew that. Finger here on the bottom of the feed and on top. And then you take your other nib and put it in. But right now, I'm going to concentrate on this nib. So, it does not give the uh, size of nib anywhere on the pin. That would be helpful if they would do that, but some choose not to. Why? I don't know. So, what I'm going to do is just dip this into some ink and give it for a test run. Again, this has the same filling system with the Delike 1 or 2, like I've mentioned. Uh, and it comes, like I said, with a free gift box. A lot of the Chinese pens don't. They just come in a little wrapper in the envelope. And uh, it, the color, they call it Mockingbird Blue. But then also in the description, it has Bamboo Green. So I guess this is more of a Bamboo Green than Mockingbird Blue, wouldn't you think? Yes. Maybe they were talking about two different colors. So, let's get to dip in here and see how she flows. Put up the old Rhodia paper, and I'm going to use some Irojuku. Uh, Iroshi Zuku Kujaku. Kujaku. Kujaku? Okay. I'll never get these names pronounced correctly. Never, ever. But that's okay. I don't care. As long as I have fun and enjoy it. Same goes for you folks out there. First, I'm going to dip this little jewel in. Set that down. All right, let me post it and we'll get to writing. Here we go. The cost of this pen was $7.80. Eighty cents. Now, see this nib. I mean, the cap will come off, so you have to make sure that it's on there securely. Okay. And uh, looks like a medium nib to me. And the ink. Okay. And 
will do some writing. We'll do a few swirls and witness smooth nib it has some witness to it reverse writing and really you can get some Yeah, you do get some uh, different line variation. I would say like maybe almost like an extra fine. And maybe if you try a different uh, color of ink, you might get a more visible writing experience when you do reverse writing on it as well. Um, the nib is a hard nib. No pressure, and this is just a little bit of pressure, and no pressure. So you're not going to get much of a, any line variation really there going on with the pen. So, uh, as you go down the barrel, the, the step off is just a slight step off where the cap screws onto the barrel. Nothing there sharp. Uh, this is a chrome grip, so for those that... Uh, do not like chrome you might not care for this pen because it could be too slippery for you but i've never had a problem with the pen i hold my pen here uh, and uh, it would accommodate large fingers as well so uh, i've known some people that hold their pen right here and write with it so that's something to uh, give some thought is about the, the grip but it's a nice looking pen it, it feels nice it, it, it's a nice smooth nib it has some bit of witness to it uh, I'm going to give it all that for it now what I'm going to do I'm going to change out the nib and see what's in store with the nib so I'll be back alright I am unscrewing this nib and putting in the other nib that comes with it free of charge so that's pretty cool you get two nibs all right so just go ahead and get this ready to go in so i'll think i'll use a different ink for the next nib mm. I guess I'll just use uh, what do you think Mr. Announcer? Well, how about blue? How about some blue? Okay. We'll just do uh, the Mont Blanc Midnight Blue. And I'll just dip the pin in and give it a whirl. Remember, you have to really shove that cap on there to make sure it's on there securely. All right, here is the delight. Very nice nib. And 
this is a fine nib. And I'm using Mont Blanc. Midnight Blue. And we'll check for wetness. This is a fine nib. And it's wet. So far, the pin, uh, the nib is performing really nice. Fine, smooth nib. Just like the other nib, no markings on the pin to let you know what size it is, but it is a fine nib. Okay, writing time. And we'll do a few S's here. Now we'll do some reverse. And you're not going to get much of nothing. Very faint. That would be like extra, extra fine. Now you do get some, like I said, different line variation. I would say like a, it's a fine nip, so I would say extra fine even, extra, extra fine maybe. But uh, they're hard nibs, but they're good nibs. And I'm really impressed on the nibs. The nibs, A-OK. -okay. A really nice fine nib. Smooth, wet. That's a plus in my book. And the other nib is a nice, smooth, medium nib. That's a plus in my book. Wet as well. Another plus in my book, you can exchange the nibs very easily. They screw in and screw out. I like that. That's another plus. Comes with a decent converter. That's another plus. I do like the look, the color, the feel. I like the detail that's in this wide band. The clip, a nice sturdy clip that's going to fit your pocket securely. Everything in the pen, about the pen, I like with only one exception. The um, when you post the pen, if you don't do it, put it on there hard enough to make it nice and snug and tight, it'll fit on. So, if you do it like this, it's gonna fall off. Do it like that, it's gonna fall off. When you do it, you have to, there's some force there behind it. No going to fall off with that so what I do I really have to put some pressure on it now that should be on there pretty much so that's my only uh, negative would be the cap is that a deal breaker no knife pin Love the nib, love the feel, love the look. I like everything about it. The nib, A+. Plus. Home run. So there you have it. Bobby's new pen. The Delight New Moon 3. 
you had your number one, and you had your number two. This is number three. Define the Bobby's pins. You can search Bobby's pins or Bobby's Chinese pins on Google. Just Google it in, and you'll come up with the pins from Bobby for the delike. Am I glad I purchased the pin? Yes, I am. I am impressed with the nib, totally. I wasn't expecting such a fine, nice nib. Outstanding Chinese fountain pen. A plus, Bobby. You knocked this one out of the park. Folks, thank you for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pens. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell that will notify you when I upload pins to my YouTube channel. And give a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that like. Hit that thumbs up. That lets me know if you like the review or not. <laughs> yeah. So, folks, remember, my friends, as always, stay safe and don't text and drive. I'll check you guys later.